everyone! Today's etch -a sketch art is a scene from the second book in Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn series, The Well of Ascension. I'm a little less than halfway through the book, and the scene I drew is my favorite one so far. In it, my favorite character, Sazed, in the back, and Marsh are searching an ominous fortress called the Conventicle that the Steel Inquisitors have recently abandoned. If you haven't read these books and you don't want them spoiled, you may want to mute the audio for a minute while I explain slash refresh everyone else about st what Steel Inquisitors are. So, Steel Inquisitors are these creatures that were kind of like the secret police of the old government in Book 1. They're corrupted men who have had metal spikes driven through their eyes. They're very powerful and very feared, and not all of them were destroyed with the old government. Marsh, the brother of the hero from the last book, was turned into a steel inquisitor. Note his eye spikes in the picture. But he's still working with the good guys right now. I say right now because I don't know if that changes later. I hope not. Sazed is a terraceman keeper, which means he's tasked with preserving and passing on knowledge, among other things. He accomplishes this by using metal on his body, uh, for example, the bracelet in this picture, as data storage. Why is Sazed my favorite character, you might wonder? He's the perfect combination of gentleness and snark, and he's very loyal to his friends. Going back to why this is my favorite chapter, it's super creepy and atmospheric. It alternates between regular narrative and what Sazed is dictating to his bracelet about his surroundings, so we get the interesting experience of receiving the information as others would later on as he shares it with them. I also love how the chapter depicts the contrast in Marsh and Sazed's characters and objectives. Marsh is very straightforward, urgent, and businesslike. Sazed is afraid, like it wasn't his idea to go to this dangerous place. But his training as a keeper also makes him curious and eager to take in everything he sees. Normally I end my videos by critiquing some aspect of the picture, and there's plenty of cause to do that here as well, like my wobbly walls and the fact that I was too lazy to put the inscriptions hammered into them. But I also want to note that I was especially happy with how Sazed's face came out. I think I was able to accomplish a balance of curiosity and trepidation. And I'm also happy with his lantern. I had to look at pictures of lanterns before I drew this, because it turns out that while I could have identified one if shown to me, I previously had no clue how to draw one. Thank goodness for the internet. If you like this video, stay tuned for more Etch-A-Sketch art in the future.